Click the link below to join the Outsider Club right now. Find out how to avoid and profit from the economic collapse. Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning in to AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is March 5th, 2014. I haven't seen a lot of coverage on this, and I think this is a significant story. Uh, and this is what I make of it. Uh, whispers persisting, rumors surrounding, uh, embedded within the Washington elite, uh, the uh, elitist community known as the District of Columbia, whispering that Hillary Clinton won't run for president in 2016 due to health concerns, uh, that uh, she may in fact have brain cancer or some kind of tumor in her brain. Uh, and critics are citing her deteriorating appearance. In fact, I would argue it doesn't take a rocket science scientist to notice uh, that her appearance has really degraded uh, quite significantly uh, over the past few years and seems to be more aggressively over the past four months. Uh, with a noticeable change in her appearance, also uh, wearing spectacles, this is what other people are citing, uh, which her camp says she's now wearing glasses because uh, her, her last incident where she fell, remember this was one of the reasons why she delayed testifying at the Benghazi hearings, uh, according to her people, having fallen, suffered a concussion with a blood clot, and had to be treated, and because of that, as a result, uh, her appearance has deteriorated, um, and she's now wearing glasses. Now, make, the, make of this what you will. Uh, but here's my take. If any of this is true, then this significantly plays in to the 2016 race. And what I mean by that, if Hillary runs, if Hillary is running in 2016, in my opinion, she is guaranteed to win. Uh, it's not even a vote. I mean, we're looking at the next president of the United States here. Uh, the right-left paradigm completely dead, uh, non-existent. And the Republican Party, in my opinion, has no chance, nor does any other party have any chance, and I mean zero, of winning the election in 2016. Hil Hillary Clinton, Hillary Rodham Clinton, will be the next president in 2016 if she runs. You know, these family dynasties that never die, the Bushes, the, the, the younger Bush, the older Bush, uh, the next Bush, <laughs> Hillary, uh, Bill, uh, you know, these family legacies of kings and queens. Again, don't fool yourself into thinking uh, that we actually have a democracy when we don't. But where this is significant, and this may just be a conservative attack, on Hillary Clinton starting these rumors with the intent to destabilize uh, her image, uh, to destabilize her political camp and her campaign. That's a very real possibility that this is a conservative attack. Because if it's true, and even if it's just a rumor, this puts a very serious monkey wrench <laughs> into the 2016 race. And what I mean by that, if Hillary Clinton was to drop out due to health concerns. Due to, let's say she legitimately has a brain tumor, uh, as is being reported by the Daily Caller, uh, is being reported by the uh, Washington Post, uh, and is being reported by Mail Online. If any of this is true, if the rumors are true, this throws a serious monkey wrench into the race and would actually embolden representatives, libertarian, slash Republican candidates like Rand Paul uh, would greatly increase their chances uh, for maybe even potentially a win. Still would probably lose, but would definitely embolden the chances of the conservative party, whether or not that was more of a libertarian leading candidate like Rand Paul or somebody else. If that's not the case uh, and Hillary does run, uh, we really don't have an election. What we have, folks, is a selection. Uh, this is a very interesting article. It says that if you listen to the chattering class in Washington, D.C., 
Hillary Clinton is a virtual certainty for the 2016 Democratic nomination and the front runner in the next presidential race. But in private, rumors persist that the former Secretary of State may not even be capable of making it to Iowa and New Hampshire. Clinton, these skeptics often say, will not run for president again because of health concerns. These ubiquitous rumors of her health have been fueled in part by the supermarket tabloids. The National Enquirer wrote in 2012 that Clinton had brain cancer, something a spokesperson dismissed then as absolute nonsense. What is questionable to me is the noticeable deterioration uh, in her appearance. And a lot of the time, just being a politician and running a high-stress lifestyle, as these people do, as many of these criminals do, uh, is going to deteriorate their health. I mean, you just look at presidents of the United States through their terms, and you look at photos throughout history, and you'll notice a noticeable change in appearance for the worse. So it could simply be that, or it could very well be something more. This could also very likely be an attack, a really false attack, uh, and a propaganda attack coming from the conservative party in the conservative base and camps such as makes up Rand Paul's camp to aim to potentially destabilize uh, Hillary Clinton's campaign uh, and to destabilize her image. All of this very interesting and would be potentially an extreme, very big monkey wrench thrown into the pot of what we call corrupt politics uh, this coming election, 2016. I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, do you think that there's any proof to this? Do you think that uh, there's any uh, merit behind these claims and these rumors that are supposedly circling among the chattering class in Washington, D.C.? Is Hillary ill? Is she dying? Does she potentially have a tumor, brain cancer? Will she drop out of the race in 2016? Or is this all hearsay? Is this tablo tabloid market politics? Is this uh, the conservative camp uh, doing their best to try to destabilize a shoo-in for the 2016 race? Get it out everywhere. I'm Christopher Green. Make it viral. Peace.